Hi boys and girls. Today I'm going to read Tiddler by Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. Once there was a fish and his name was Tiddler. He wasn't much to look at with his plain grey scales, but Tiddler was a fish with a big imagination. He blew small bubbles, but he told tall tales. Sorry I'm late. I was riding on a seahorse. Sorry I'm late. I was flying with a ray. Sorry I'm late. I was diving with a dolphin. Tiddler told a different story every single day. At nine o'clock on Monday, Miss Skate called the register. Little Johnny Dory? Yes, Miss Skate. Rabbit fish? Yes, Miss. Red fin? Yes, Miss. Tiddler? Tiddler. Tiddler's late. Sorry I'm late. I was swimming round a shipwreck. I swam into a treasure chest and someone closed the lid. I bashed and I thrashed till a mermaid let me out. Oh no, she didn't. Oh yes, she did. It's only a story, said Rabbitfish and Redfin. Just a silly story, said Dragonfish and Dab. I like Tiddler's story, said little Johnny Dory. And he told it to his granny, who told it to a crab. At nine o'clock on Tuesday, Miss Skate called the register. Little Johnny Dory? Yes, Miss Skate. Spider fish? Yes, Miss. Sunfish? Yes, Miss. Tiddler? Tiddler. Tiddler's late. Sorry I'm late, Miss. I set off really early, but on the way to school, I was captured by a squid. I wriggled and I struggled till a turtle came and rescued me. Oh no, he didn't. Oh yes, he did. It's only a story, said spindle, Spiderfish and Sunfish. Just a silly story, said Devilfish and Dace. I love Tiddler's story, said little Johnny Dory. And he told it to his granny, who told it to a place. Who told it to a starfish? Who told it to a seal? Who told it to a lobster? Who told it to an eel? At nine o'clock on Wednesday, Tiddler was dawdling dreaming up a story, his tallest story yet. Lost inside his story, he didn't see the fishing boat. He didn't hear the fishermen. He didn't spot the net. Meanwhile, in the schoolroom, Miss Skate called the register. Little Johnny Dory? Yes, Miss Skate. Leopard fish? Yes, miss. Leaf fish? Yes, miss. Tiddler? Tiddler. Tiddler's late. 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Still no Tiddler. 12 o'clock lunchtime. Where could he be? Far away, the fishermen were hauling in their fishing net. This one's just a tiddler. We'll throw it back to sea. Tiddler was lost in the middle of the ocean, where strange lights glimmered.
and strange fish flew. He swam around in circles. He shivered in the seaweed. But then he heard a story, a story that he knew. Tiddler rode a seahorse. Tiddler met a mermaid. Tiddler met a turtle who saved him from a squid. Tiddler found a shipwreck. Tiddler found a treasure chest. Oh no, he didn't. Oh yes, he did. Tiddler peeped out and he saw a shoal of anchovies. Excuse me, can you tell me where you heard that tale? We heard it from a shrimp, but we don't know where she heard it. And they took him to the shrimp who said, I heard it from a whale. I heard it from a herring. I heard it from an eel. I heard it from a lobster. I heard it from a seal. I heard it from a starfish. I heard it from a place. The place said, just a minute, don't I recognise your face? I'm Tiddler, said Tiddler. I'm tracking down my story. The place replied, well, I heard it from my neighbour, Granny Dory. One o'clock, two o'clock, still no Tiddler. Nearly home time, where could he be? Just as the fishes were finishing their lessons, in swam Tiddler at half past three. There he is. Sorry I'm late, but I swam into a fishing net. I managed to es escape and I swam away and hid. I was lost, I was scared, but a story led me home again. Oh no, it didn't. Oh yes, it did. It's just another story, said Leopardfish and Leaffish. Just a silly story, said Butterfish and Blue. It isn't just a story, said little Johnny Dory. And he told it to a writer friend who wrote it down for you. I hope you enjoyed that story, boys and girls. Bye.